I was initially approached by one of the members of, that was previously on the RCSN when they were um, looking at relieving a position. Um, from, from there I spoke to a couple of members of the Geraldton RCSN and a couple of people that I know that were members of other RCSNs and um, yeah, thought that they or gained the information that there was value in the, in the role and um, yeah, thought that it would be good to be able to contribute to the direction of research and development in grains industry in WA. In the last, well, last 12 months we've been focusing a lot on um, seasonal variability, uh, taking advantage of really early sowing opportunities and also um, dealing with heat stress, especially in the northern area of the Geraldton port zone. There's been some yeah, really good projects into time of sowing that have given us uh, yeah, some indications as to, to what is achievable and what yeah, the, where there's areas of weakness that yeah, probably need to be do further looked at in, in more longer term trial work. Yeah. The fall fallow work has, and the um, dealing with subsoil constraints have been some areas that they're, they're seeing some really good results and there's some really major uptake in um, yeah, the top slotting plates and um, extra deep ripping on, on the soil types at suit. The heat tolerance issue is still a, still a major issue in our area and um, yeah, just utilising the rainfall that we get when we, when we get it, the, our, our, our climate seems to be becoming more variable and just being able to utilise that moisture and turn it into grain. We, we still see there's a big differentiation between the amount of rainfall we get and the amount of grain that we can produce from it. Um, if we could improve our water use efficiency by another 10 kilos uh, a millimetre, that would yeah, be a significant jump in the effectiveness of our operation.